Hi, my name is Kent. In 2011, we did a Crystal Radio YouTube video. This is 2012, and this is an updated video showing the new speaker that we have. We rebuilt this one. This was built in 1926 by Atwater Kent. This loose coupler crystal set, we've redone some of the parts on it, so it's just a little better running crystal set. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it up first so you can see what we've got underneath here and you can look at different things. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to point out the stuff that we have there. Mike Peoples gave us an audio match amplifier. He calls it his high z and it's got an L&M 386IC chip. It's also got a T725 audio match transformer and it's also got an audio match board. He calls it his PO111. Okay, now looking at the rest of this, we're going to switch over here now and drop the set down. Oh, by the way, if anybody knows what this capacitor is, I know it came from Japan. I think it came off of the submarine World War II. But it does hold voltage, and I really like it. I'd like to be able to buy more of those. Okay, I'm going to drop the set down here, and I'm going to explain some more stuff to you. First of all, this is a piece of 4-inch PVC. That's the primary coil. It's 4-inch ABS, and we have 24-gauge insulated copper wire, 200 turns, counterclockwise. The smaller coil you see here is a 3-inch ABS pipe, 22-gauge insulated copper wire with 170 turns, counterclockwise. Okay, now let me hook up some of this stuff so you can see it in action. This, of course, is the Atwater speaker. Look at here. And hook it here. Okay, now let's go over here and let's get into the antenna system here. This is the ground. It comes in off the screen wire, goes through this coil, comes back out here, and hooks into here like this. So you've got your ground terminal hooked in. Now let's hook in our antenna, which comes out 125 foot, and it comes right in here through the house, right here. Oh, look, we got a station. So anyway, there you got your sound coming out of your speaker. You got your coils. You got your amplifier for the ground. And here you've got these spheres, and they make a diode. And you have an adjustment. You can tighten them down, and you can loosen it up so you get a good connection to your diode through these balls. If you come up here, this is... Marconi's crystal radio, also a telegraph key, and you can see the balls there. He did the same thing using the dirty ball principle. Okay, now we're going to come back down to the crystal radio and we're going to turn down the volume here. And I'm going to try to explain some of the things we're doing. This you have a control over, and you can change the wire and the settings so you can pick up one station or two stations. And another thing, over here you can swing back and forth and pick up stations. This is a variable capacitor. You'll be able to change stations here. And you also have a variable capacitor here. And you can change stations here. Now I'm going to turn the radio back on so you can hear something. There, we got a station there. Got another station there. Got another station there. Got another station there. Now you can also change this here. Secondary coil. Get different stations. And you can slide it in and out here to tune it. See how it came up in volume? I do think that better it's volume, be because and you can switch back over here to a germanium diode. Just get the wire in here to touch. There we go. We got that to touch. And this is a copper coil, and this shows everything that we've done while we were building. This was wound from the inside, wound to the outside. It's 55 foot of wire. There's no splices or breaks in it. This is held here by an insulated post and another insulated post on a half inch insulated copper tube. 
So this makes up our ground plane, which does intensify the ground force. We can also use these if we want to, but it's much more fun to listen to it through an old speaker. Again, thank you very much for watching, and we'll be on a YouTube sooner or later. Thanks again. Bye-bye.